right outside Zion National Park and getting ready to set out on a four to five week trek to Green River, Utah. Day one, day four, day seven, day 10, day 13, day 16, day 19, day 22, day 25. All right. of day 26 starting off the day with a semi-sketchy dry fall and bypass I need to get up over here to the left and then walk those high ridges above to get up on top here we go okay that's one of the scariest things I've ever done that was a sketchy route I'm going to turn around the camera and show you. So I just edged my way across that right there with a fatal drop below. Man, I scouted it for a while trying to determine if the low route, a medium route, or a really high route was the best way to go. And I, it was a toss up. Up high, you got farther to catch yourself if you fall, but. Down here, I actually liked that ledge better. I walked half of it without the pack first just to get past the worst of it. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I hope there's nothing else like this because I want to get this puppy done. I got to get to my cash. I'm running out of food. Okay, let's go. Whew, taking a break in the shade after that sketchy climb. It's funny, I say it a lot, but, like, the sandstone wasn't that tricky. You know, if you're walking down a sidewalk that was that unlevel, you wouldn't think twice about it. But with that exposure, man, it's scary. And it's warming up, and the sun was beating down on me, so I was sweating, getting sweat in my sunglasses. It was a sketchy route. I Actually, I contemplated turning around and going back, finding a way out cross-country to shortcut, but... Uh, Finally got my confidence up and did it. So, yeehaw, <laughs> let's keep going. I'm going slow. I'm really zapped for energy and I think it's because I'm rationing my food. This whole section is taking a little bit longer and uh, yeah, I'm basically running out of food. I carry a little bit extra, but I tapped into that extra. So, yeah, it's slow going. Yesterday was my slowest day of the trip. Um, the least amount of mileage, anyway. Uh, under 15. So, not good. I've been averaging yeah, about 18 a day. So, that was definitely a slower day. And it's warming up, which I knew it would. And, man, I hate it. But, uh, got to get up my cash so I can have some food. Uh, shout out to Pui from Texas, the other Beehive Traverse guy that I met he gave me a Snickers bar on his way out. I loved it. <laughs> that was enough to keep me going yesterday. All right, that's the report for now. Okay, we just climbed out of this little canyon. We're at the saddle. Now we're headed down into this canyon. One canyon after another. I think that's Fern's nipple up there. This is the way we're headed. We saw Molly's nipple earlier on this trip, and now here's Fern's nipple. A lot of nipples. So this canyon is known as Redman Canyon, also named by the pioneer of the route. And evidently it's because of a formation that he saw that resembled a red snowman. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. Seeing that bighorn yesterday was really awesome. I was thinking about it afterwards. Before this year, I'd only seen a bighorn hiking one time. Like on all my hikes, on all the days, 
There was only once I'd seen a bighorn. Actually, I saw two of them together in Canyonlands, and they were at a distance, so it wasn't that amazing. But now, 2022, my Perea trip, I saw a whole bunch, and this trip, I saw that guy, a lot of that guy. So that was that was really cool. Might be a turning of the tide for spotting bighorn in southern Utah for me while hiking. <laughs> All right, that's the thought for the moment. I just had to come down this steep little ramp. Got to there and decided to take the pack off and let it slide. I had the little drawstring on it and it could only reach so far, then I let it go. Thought it would stop on that bush. Did not, it bounced, 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 and luckily stopped right there. Because right past that, it's a long ways down. Oh, all right, I just spent like an hour trying to descend into Redman Canyon. I'm assuming I was off route because, yeah, that's not, that's not doable by hikers, really. Not in a fun way. This is what I came down. Roped up the pack a few times. In fact, the last time, you can see it's still hanging there in a tree. So now I have to climb up a little and retrieve it. I'm assuming there's got to be an easier way farther down or maybe farther up, but I don't know. All right, that's it for now. Oh, finally. The view I've been looking forward to and working towards for a while. Looking down Bear Canyon and north into the rest of the craziness of Capitol Reef. That's where I'm headed. <laughs> Slowly but surely. The big canyon right in the foreground lateral to Bear Canyon is Grand Wash. So that's where I'm headed. And I'll take that down to the Fremont River and I might just jump in. yet to have one drop of rain in the last 26 days. We'll see if that changes today. Looking down into Grand Wash. and it's grand. I don't think I've ever been so happy to be back on flat ground. That was so much work. That was tough. So my assessment of Beehive Traverse, part of it was amazing. Part of it was awful. So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably opine about it a little bit later. I'll write something, my take on it. It's definitely not for the casual hiker. I'll tell you that. and definitely more conducive to an ultralight hiker as opposed to a big pack through hiker. We are going to go down through Grand Wash, through the Narrows, to the Fremont. I tell you, I think I'm jumping in. I'm so glad it's, it's overcast now. It's still pretty humid though. But I am out of food, basically out of water. Like two drinks left. So yeah, I'm ready to be back by a river. All right, let's go.
we are entering the Narrows of Grand Walk. Here we go. Narrow, but not crazy narrow. Used to be able to drive through here. So for a car, yeah, that seemed pretty narrow. Do I seem like my energy level is low? Do I feel like my energy level is low? What have I had about less than a thousand calories of food in the last two days? My water was okay until today. Started out the day with three liters. It was one day, so I drank. I drank it all. Definitely enjoyed most of my time here in Capitol Reef. It's a it's an amazing park. Didn't love all the beehive traverse, but there were awesome moments. Uh, shout out to Wasatch Will and Backcountry Exposure, two other uh, YouTube channels that do a lot of hikes in this area, sometimes together, and they have good coverage. And uh, if you're thinking about the beehive traverse based on this video, go ahead and drop me a message and write me, and I'll, I'll give you more information and tell you more thoughts because it's it's definitely not a casual hike so <laughs> don't go out unprepared you need to have some a good route good waypoints and know where the obstacles are and what they entail so all right thought for now i need to get back to hiking it's the capitol reef modern art sculpture gallery check this stuff out not really of course Okay, we are almost at the bottom of Grand Wash. We have reached the Fremont River. Like I said, I'm going in. Oh man. Ah. <sighs> uh. Ah, oh, feels good. It's a little bit chilly though. Now, ferry down the top of option B. Doesn't look good either. 